horrible. Uh, oh, no. Uh, it was horrible. Uh, oh, my God. Come on over to the dinner table, guys. There's no way this could be good. Find your name. Have a seat. Don't be nervous, guys. Shut up. Shut up. Welcome back. Welcome back. It smells good. You guys seem nervous. Whatever gave you that impression. I don't know. Just the walk. Quiet the head. There's a camera and a bucket. It's not the puke bucket or anything. It's just like a bucket. <laughs> you guys have any idea what's going on? We're eating something. What makes you think that? You know, the dinner table. I don't know, like, whatever is under this. Like, I have no idea, and I'm going to have to look at it at this distance. I'm at ease with my mind right now. OK. Last week, Adap clutched up and won the challenge in the snake pit. I did what I had to do. Hope you guys were entertained. And now he's no longer a part of the competition. I made the jumper. He's free. He's so lucky. Tasha, though, you have the chicken chain. Do you think you're going to get rid of it today, though? I'm getting rid of it. I'm giving it to Shermo right there. <laughs> Shermo! I'm giving it to Shermo. Hey, Hello, that's everybody. a good nickname. I'm done with it. <laughs> you already have the napkin tucked in and everything. Yeah. You look like you're ready. Just to drink the water. Oh, OK, OK. That's it, so yeah. we're just past the halfway point of the competition, and I wanted to celebrate with you guys. So I put together a little three-course meal tailored to each of you guys. Yay. My mouth's getting really dry. And I phoned a few friends and family members asking what food do you guys fear the most and dislike the most. Rug tells us that our biggest fear, food-wise, is sitting on a plate. And I'm like, not possible. Nobody knows my biggest fear, which is fish. I know they're going to give me some shit that I really don't want to eat. I just hope that my meal is not as bad as everyone else's. Nothing on this show is as it seems, and every time I get comfortable, they remind me that that's a bad idea. Your first courses are right under those domes, so you guys can actually lift them up and see what you guys will be eating. Uh. No! Oh, no, not fish, dude. There's this one thing that I had when I went to Australia. It's like a delicacy. <laughs> It's the winter the wind tastes like vitamins. It's so bad, I'll throw up. I know that Australians love it, and I'm really not trying to hate or start any drama, but you're crazy. You're f crazy. I would rather the head of a pig on this plate. It tastes like crushed up vitamins spread out and then sprinkled with salt. Sprinkled with salt. Sprinkled with salt. Sprinkled with salt. It's repulsive. No offense. I can't do this. Is this a raw hot dog with sauerkraut? I hate you. On my channel, we eat a lot of crazy stuff. But one of my least favorite foods is sauerkraut. I hate sauerkraut. It tastes like old sweaty balls. I mean, I've never had old sweaty balls, but it tastes like what I would imagine old sweaty balls and feet would smell like. Um, what is that, a pineapple? It's eggs. Outdoor oh, you don't like eggs. eggs. Outdoor eggs. eggs. Cold <laughs> eggs. Do you really not like eggs? No. Uh, I can already feel the vomit <laughs> baking <laughs> in my throat. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> is that sardines? Dude. Oh, no. I'm screwed. This is like opening it and seeing my own head. <laughs> <laughs> put it back. OK, I'll put it back. Amanda, what is that? OK, I think we've got peaches and cream here. You get to eat peaches and cream? Hi, I'm Isabella, and I'm Amanda's roommate and best friend, and I can confirm that she's absolutely terrified of peaches. Something about the little tiny hairs on them, like, makes her skin crawl. I used to have nightmares about them, so this isn't going to be the easiest challenge for me. I'm just going to convince myself that I do like it. I am shaking. <laughs> These are your most hated, most despised, most stomach-turning foods. <laughs> so just blame your friends and family. There will be three courses, and within each course, your food nightmare will get worse and worse. That's not possible. You don't think it could get worse than That's that? That's not possible. Yeah. I would rather a, just a pig carcass. I should mention one more thing. You guys actually won't be eating these foods. You're going to be drinking them. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's a lie. No! So here's how it's going to work. You're going to be placing your food in the blender so it has that perfect smoothie consistency. Then when I say go, I will start the clock and you can only use a straw. 
Are you kidding? <laughs> no tipping, no chugging, none of that. Just a straw. Your clock will only stop once you sucked up that last draw. The person with the fastest combined time after the three courses will be our winner. And you want to be that winner because you want to free yourself from this torture, right? Yes. Yes. And the slowest combined time will be wearing that chicken chain of shame, which again, you don't want. Any questions? If you throw up, does it still count? Yes. I'm appalled. I'm appalled what I signed up for. I'm not sure if anybody else does eating challenges on their channel, so I got to prove that I can eat anything. Whew. OK. Make sure you get every bit of that in there. Again, the person with the fastest combined time after the three courses will be our winner. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you what you guys will be facing next challenge. Oh my god! When I was younger, I got these reoccurring nightmares about alligators. So I need to get through this challenge. I have to win. You can't do that. OK, Wait, guys, ready? straws up. How on earth am I going to drink sardines through a straw? Oh, god. OK, start sucking those smoothies. Come on, come on. I have this like thing, it's kind of like a disorder, but like this thing about food where I can't eat anything that's not supposed to be in my mouth. Ugh. Come on. Oh. oh, no. It actually tasted like vomit. So it's like I'm drinking vomit, trying not to vomit while I'm drinking vomit. Oh my god, Caleb. It's halfway gone. I haven't tasted anything. Caleb is done. Oh wow. And by the time I was done, my brain recognized that I had just drinking a full shake. Tastes like crushed up vitamins spread out and then sprinkled with salt, sprinkled with salt, sprinkled with salt. It was the most repulsive feeling that I have ever felt in my life. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I can't be around this. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. <laughs> My mind is completely blank. My nose is plugged. I'm not thinking about texture. I'm just trying to get this down, down the hatch, down the hatch so I can get off the show. <laughs> when it's done. Ah, it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Can I have a mint, please? I don't want to throw it, please. <laughs> Amanda, you're done, right? I can't get it more in my mouth. Oh, y'all ain't right for this shit. Sherman, come on. Sherman, get back oh, to no, the table. I can't drink that. Come on. It's just a sardine smoothie. Come on, Tasha, come on. Come on, you got this. She's really doing it. Oh, oh no. my. You got this. There you go. She's done. Oh. All right, Anthony, we're going to call it. We're going to give you a two-minute penalty. Next round, I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to do whatever they put on my plate. <laughs> OK, I hope you guys didn't lose your appetite. Stop. Don't even say that. Because the second course is up now. Yay. What's the worst thing you can imagine being under that dome? Like a <laughs> What? <laughs> if it's baked beans. Baked what? beans? I'm going to scream. Go ahead and take a look at your second course. Oh, 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 no. No. Uh-uh. Chili! They gave me chili! They gave me chili! Dude, come on! <laughs> Why fish? There's no way I'm sucking sushi through a damn straw. Please, not fish! Wait, is that just cantaloupe? I hate cantaloupe, and I think this is goat cheese or that something. That looks delicious. No, it doesn't. I do not like melons. Then they bring me feta cheese, the worst cheese ever made in life. They put some balsamic vinegar on it, and I'm like, really? Y'all cold-blooded. Y'all some good motherfuckers. This is I thought I was going home. There's no way that I'm going to slurp down jello and olives faster than my competitors, but I do not want to be the number one chicken. Who you pickles? You don't like pickles? Wait, let me smell. <laughs> it's a sweet a pickle. Sweet pickle. Who the f makes uh. pickles sweet? There's a whole tray of. <laughs> I can't even say it. Sweet pickles. Sweet pickles. Stop being dramatic. Are you? It 
kidding me? It's, it's sushi. The guacamole is green. Is that not what guacamole is supposed to be like? I don't know if you want to call it sushi because it doesn't look like sushi. It looks like someone slammed a bunch of stuff together. Okay, guys, let's get to blending. All right. Oh, that already looks like a smoothie. Ugh. Yeah, no. And baby Gurks. It's not that bad. Ew. <laughs> Fire them up. I'm not interested. Okay, guys, grab those straws. Go! Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, no. Raise your hand when you're done. Anthony's already walking away like last round. <laughs> Fitness Marshal Quen done again. <laughs> Was that gross? <laughs> oh, this is hard to watch, even as a host. Oh, that is the most disgusting thing that I've ever tasted in my life. Every single drop tasted like cow's vomit. I mean, I've never had cow's vomit, but if you can imagine what cow's vomit would taste like, that is it. Amanda? No, I'm not, I can't do it. So I knew I wasn't going home at this point, but I gave it a little <laughs> shot. The texture was horrible as I imagined, and I could not power through it. <laughs> I've ate sushi before. <laughs> <coughs> but like fake sushi. Next round, I'm gonna make up for it. I'm gonna do whatever they put on my plate. Oh, no. <laughs> Tasha, time. Sherman, Amanda, it's a no from you guys? It just won't go down. Tried my best. Okay, that is a two minute penalty for each of you. All right, let's clear the table. It's almost time for round three. <laughs> Going into our final round, Fitness Marshal, you're in first place, but you're only three seconds ahead of Quinn. Who knows what's coming next? It's still anyone's game. It's time for me to go and she's gonna stay. I have more willpower than she does. Now, Amanda, Tasha, and Sherman, you guys are not out of this, so. Right. Now it's time for your third and final course. No. All right, remove those domes. No! <laughs> I don't open it. Anthony, open it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, are you, are you not you me? You're lying! It was me, it was me. Why? Because, that thing on my face! You're very, the... you're very cocky. <laughs> Put your cockiness oh. to the test. That's, that's just impossible. Tasha, we got watermelon and mustard? You must really hate melons, I huh? I hate any melon. Quen, what? stop covering it up. What is it? This. What? That's it? Child. Cheese and crackers? That's what you're worried Childhood about? Childhood on the run. Do you not like car. that? No. Can I have one? Yeah. I will gladly trade you. Yeah, y'all drink this in liquid form and come back to me. Did you hear that? I'm about to drink some cheese. Fake cheese in a can with cheap, shitty crackers. Crackers, shitty crackers. <laughs> Mm -mm. Caleb, what is it with you and Beats? I was a child, and I was at my grandparents' house, which I had always deemed a safe space. And then my grandparents gave me some pickled beets, and I trusted Grandma. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, I went white, oh. and I felt it, like, crawling down my throat. And I could just feel it infesting my body, and it's the most foul <clears throat> taste that you can At least have. it's going to be in liquid form. That's going to be terrible. Amanda, oh. this is going in the blender with the furry skin and all that, too. Yeah, that's why I can't do it. Well... Good luck, guys. Bring up those plates. It has a face on it. Ready? No. Uh, extra spray cheese. Okay. Why are you doing this to me? Cheers, guys. Ah! The chicken bit me. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is the last course. This is for the win, and this is for the chain. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm ready to get rid of this. Woo, let's do this! Grab your straws, everybody. Hey, to my friends and family laughing at me right now. F you. All right, guys, in three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try it. Oh, Quinn is done. Yes! She killed it. Caleb is done. <laughs> that is gonna be a close one for the results. Oh, Tasha, you're almost done too. <laughs> Tasha, it looks like you're about to puke. Power through it. Tasha, time. Sherman, Amanda, come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Some people might love peaches, might love kiwi, but I just like hate the way that it feels and tastes and looks. Ah! Now, it's just about last place. Uh. Just drink a little more. Imagine the family watching right now. Come on, one more sip for the fam. For the respect. For the respect. I get no respect. I'm bitched out. Oh, come on. You're close. I mean, not really, but you're almost there, kind of. You can do this, Anthony. Come on. Woo! It's not looking too good for Amanda and Sherman. One more sip for the fam. For the respect. Hey, good job. Uh, Amanda and Sherman, well, I, you guys I cannot it. power through it. I tried it, but it's too much of the texture. I can't. Give me a second. I'll do it right now. Sherman said give him a second. I'm just kidding. OK, he's kidding. OK, guys, another two-minute penalty for each of you. It's time to calculate the results. <laughs> guys, let's see who the big winner winner chicken dinner is, and let's see who the big chicken is. Amanda, even though you didn't finish the second or third smoothie, you did so well the first round that you landed in third place. Good job, Amanda. Good job. Hey, good job. Our bottom two are Tasha and Sherman. What? <laughs> I think. Tasha, I got to give it to you. You finished all three smoothies. Even though you were the last two, I'm sure your fans are going to respect you for going through it. Yes, I did that. Shout out to the OGV fam. Yeah, yes. good job. You did that. There's one more thing they're going to be proud of. And that's that you don't have to wear that chicken chain anymore, and you can actually hand it over to Sherman. Yeah! Yeah! Sherman, baby! I drank it as fast as I could, still didn't win, but you know what I'm not? Today's biggest chicken. I gave that to Sherman. Let's give you this chain. Appreciate you. To everybody out there watching, I don't care what you have to say, I will gladly be named the chicken of the day rather than do what anyone else did today. Anthony, you kind of coordinated that outfit and jewelry to go with the chain. It's like yeah. you knew this was going to happen. Yeah. Well, you're on number one chicken. Appreciate Good job. it. You did it. OK, guys, now for our top two, Caleb and Quinn. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. So the only thing that separates first and second place is one second. Oh. And the winner by one second is Quinlan Blackwell. Yeah. A winner. You are free. Wait, Congratulations, what? Quinn. Good job. Ah! Ah! I'm out this bitch! And Caleb, good job. Very, very close. Quinn was so happy, but I can't pretend to be happy for her. I don't want to be here. One second. So again, Quinn, great job. You are now job, free. Quinn. Only a few of you are left. We will see which one of you can get a W and find out who's going to be in the finals on the next number one chicken. Great job. Woo! I wouldn't have been able to do this challenge. <laughs> no. This is crocodile! In this pit, there are two eight-foot gators. Oh, oh my god. You'll be wearing blindfolds. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Mommy, help. 